All right, so the other day we got started with the old nasty red trying to put those uh, airbags on uh, for heavy loads. And I got one side on, which I think Malachi took a look at yesterday. But it's uh, early on Tuesday morning, beautiful morning. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically, we'll take a look here and see where we're at with this one. We have the passenger side on now. And I think I gave a little bit of a review last time, but uh, that's what it looks like. And so the other side, it shouldn't take too much longer at this point. Um, all I have to do is line it up. And then once I have things lined up um, right there, I can see I could start to get it lined up. We just want to make sure that it's equal on both sides. And then when we put this, when we had the bed put on, one of the things that I liked about what this company did uh, over in Ohio is they take and they place this um, uh, block of oak wood right here. And what that does is it just raises it off of the frame just slightly, which is why the headache rack is slightly higher than the cab. But what it does, it just makes it easier to uh, make sure, number one, your hitch is at a good height when you put loads and stuff on it. But then also, I just like the, the added height there. It makes it a little bit more accessible underneath and, and so forth. But anyway, just a little thing that they told me that they do, and I really uh, appreciated that. So, but that does change just slightly, not too much, but you can see like where it wants to mount. Um, I had to put it down a little bit. I could either notch that wood out just slightly, which wouldn't be a big deal, but I'm gonna just make sure that that's a little bit lower. Um, so we just gotta drill four holes here, and then once those holes are drilled, marked and drilled, then we are ready to go ahead and uh, fasten that thing down and then move on to locating where the airlines are going to be. So time to get going. basically got the driver's side airbags now mounted on there. There's just basically four bolts. Um, on this driver's side, as I mentioned previously, there's a lot of brake lines and wiring harnesses just on the other side of that. Thankfully, it didn't nick anything. The hardest thing is closer to the front of the truck over in that area. Um, the gas tank is up there too, so with just one guy, not a big deal. I mean, thankfully I have freakishly long arms, but to be able to reach back there with the wrench through all the wiring and then somehow to get those things tightened with those nylon uh, nuts on there, it was, uh, it was fun. It took me just a couple minutes longer than obviously it could have, but uh, nonetheless, it's on there. Now all I have to do is basically like, um, there's two uh, bolts that thread up into the airbag from underneath. I can get a wrench up in there, a little socket, which is great. So I'm just gonna tighten those in positions because I didn't want to do that until I get those clamps on, uh, those U-bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and put those U-bolts on now, uh, put those down, and then we should be good to go. Okay, so now what we got is basically, we finally got it all mounted on there. Uh, it's all locked up tight um, down where I need to be. I just have to now um, go through and hook up the airlines uh, as a next step. One thing I did do with the driver's side that I did not do on the other side was, um, basically if you saw um, previously, these U-bolts, some guys will t uh, take the helpers out and put them down here. Uh, other people will then just go from there. But what you could see in the instructions is they basically attached them right like what I have here. But the U-bolts themselves are super, super long. On the other side, if you watched any of that, I basically had to take those nylon nuts and put them all the way down. So what I did was I took just a regular galvanized um, 3 8 nut and then put it all the way down to the bottom on each side. Then I took the grinder and just cut them off and then unthreaded it. And then those things threaded right back on. So it was super easy and quick to put these ones on compared to the other side, having the dork around and then things being in the way here. So nonetheless, um, everything is uh, measured and equal to spec. And so it's all tightened down and good to go. So the next step is um, to go ahead and put the airlines on. Pretty easy job overall. Let's keep going. Oh, I did it. So this was the first one me putting this system on and I just wrapped it up. I just cleaned up uh, most of the stuff. I just have to put a few more things away here. But uh, I'm about ready to, I got the tires all put back on and uh, those Anthem Gunners, which I love those things. They are some sweet looking uh, wheels, especially when they're shined up. But we went ahead and, and what I did was, I got everything buttoned up in terms of, and sorry for the lighting here, 
but in terms of the air system itself. And then I'll just see if I can get a look in here. We have that air line where it just basically, you know, plugs right in there. And then all I did is I zip tie, they give you a couple zip ties, but with the, the way this is ran, I basically just put double zip ties, you know, all across there to keep that uh, air uh, line nice and tight. And then what it does is then it runs down behind here and then you'll see right up there, well, kind of, kind of dark, but anyway, what I did was I basically then just took these holes here um, at the bottom for the um, license plate and then I just drilled them through because there's a nice open area behind there and so then I didn't have to the the curb itself when I'm coming down is is uh, basically perfect there to where it's not kinks or anything in the hose and so then I basically do it like this and then the the specs were to once everything's hooked up to go ahead and fill each of these with uh, 90 psi and so I went ahead and did that and uh, now I'm ready and you can see once you fill those up, you can just see like the suspension rise up. So anyway, here's the driver's side also. Everything actually worked out uh, perfect the way I wanted it to. And so, yeah, it's it kind of cool. So I'm about ready to, uh, to drop this uh, thing back on, on the ground here and uh, see how she looks once there's a, oh, oh didn't know how to drop at all. So uh, I love these jacks. Anyway, so that's how she sits now. And uh, I'm excited now. I mean, of course, we still have the stock tranny on here, but I'm excited to be able to put another heavy load. I'm gonna have to go uh, to the local Menards yeah, sometime this week yet and um, get basically another load of uh, timber, uh, you know, lumber, as well as maybe some drywall and some other things. So uh, I'll, ba you know, I'll baby it in terms of the transmission since it's got this awesome horsepower now. But I just absolutely love this truck. I can't wait till we get nasty red all ready for body work. But right now, I mean, it does what it needs to do. We'll get this transmission work done. The only other thing that we want to do, when I say only other thing, there's a lot of other things that we want to do with this thing yet. But uh, honestly, I'm not in a huge hurry. I just want to kind of get it done little by little because I have a bunch of other projects going on. But um, the one thing I want to do here coming up is, of course, the transmission, which is a big one. Um, I'm not so concerned about the body yet. I want to get everything else mechanically running to where we can function and so forth. Um, and then what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and get some um, basically uh, traction bars uh, to be able to weld to the, to the um, axle itself and then up to the frame. Uh, so then that way um, it just keeps that axle nice and firm. Let me think what else was it that we wanted to do. Oh, we got to get those upper and lower control arms. We started doing those, uh, I think, last week, but I decided we're going to go ahead and just take it and have somebody else do it because Malcolm was having a hard time with it. And I personally just didn't want to devote the time to get that done. So we'll have that done, have the traction bars uh, weathered on there. He had an idea regarding that. I'll kind of keep that a surprise in case we don't do it, um, just so there's nobody uh, thinking we misled them. We don't want to do that. But nonetheless, so we got that. We got the airbags on now. Transmission, upper and lower control arms. I wouldn't mind eventually doing some stuff body-wise. Cab lights would look super cool too. I, I like, you know, the 7.3 and in, in the power strokes, how they had those cab lights. This truck is a beast. I love the way it sits. Eventually, I'll probably end up too. Although I like the look of it now, I wouldn't mind also getting an aftermarket bumper for it. So nothing like immediate. There's other things we got going on, but Nonetheless, she is coming together nicely. Um, you got to keep in mind what it looked like when we got it. I and mean, we have a huge power upgrade. I mean, thanks to uh, the help from Diesel Auto Power and Pusher. And then, of course, we got these Anthem Gunners, which I absolutely love. This is the universal kit that fits this one, so it's pretty easy. I have another kit as well that will fit one of the power strokes. I just haven't decided yet which one I want to put it on. So I'll decide and then once we get that ready, we'll be good to go. But now that we have this beast, we at least know that this one's taken care of and nearly ready for some big loads. Now, when I say big loads, of course, we don't want to exceed what the truck is rated for because that would be the wrong thing to do. But nonetheless, I do like knowing that um, I'm not causing any damage or, or running down the road and have suspension problems. So. Um, anyway, so that's uh, what we got. It looks good. And now the big thing is just to test it and see really how she rides when we do put a load on there. And you guys have seen already that last load where I put the timbers on. Um, I don't know how much that thing weighed. It would be great if I had a truck scale here, but I don't. So it'll be nice to see how that load uh, handles now with these things. So anyway, uh, 
that's gonna wrap this one up. So I'm just gonna basically finish cleaning the shop up here and then uh, head on over to the bar and do some more work over there. So, ciao.